teacher here for one last time. Um, so this week, I can't wait to see your portraits of a hero. And so I'm just going to walk you through what to do. If you're really proud of any of your work, um, please bring it in when you come back to school and we can trade it out for some of the work that you guys made last year. Okay, I can't wait to see you all and I can't wait to see your artwork. Today you are going to be drawing one of your heroes. So first you need to choose a personal hero to draw. You're going to need a photo of your hero because you want your drawing to look as much like them as possible. It's okay to draw a realistic drawing or a cartoon style drawing, but you still want the photo so that you can focus on the unique details of that person. Use um, the videos that I have included um, to give you ideas of how to best draw eyes and mouth and the hair, okay? In the style that you want. So here are a few local heroes. I took this from our Rio Rico firefighter website. And then of course there's police officer Jesus Cordova or many other officers here in uh, Santa Cruz County. Um, I picked a few of the doctors from the Mariposa Clinic, but you could choose your doctor or a doctor that you know. And then I also wanted to include some of the staff and teachers here at San Cayetano Elementary. So you could choose somebody from our school as your hero. And there are many teachers and I, so I just put the ones that I could find their photos. Um, you could choose a judge like Sandra Day O'Connor maybe a librarian, um, an environmental hero, someone who's trying to help our planet. And of course, heroes comes in all shapes and sizes, and there are absolutely kid heroes. So if there's a kid you can think of who's a hero, you're welcome to draw them too. Also, don't forget to check out the slideshow that I shared on Wednesday of some modern artist portraits. You might get some ideas. Here's a few different ones to look at. And don't forget to click on them to look for more. This page might be very helpful to you when you're making your drawing. Notice it shows the proportions when you're drawing an adult man versus a child. And then I also have one for a, a woman and a man. So you're welcome to look at these as you're drawing. Um, these are the videos that I recommend. This one's more for younger students. This one's kind of just more for fun. A lot of you drew these last week and did such a beautiful job. Um, this one is very specific and so don't get overwhelmed but it does show you how to draw the mouth, the nose, the eyes. So this is a great one to watch. Um, this one's a little harder, but it does show you how to draw a child's face. Uh, this one's kind of fun. I did see a lot of you drew um, cartoon eyes, so great job. And then this one's probably the most challenging, but if you can really force yourself to go through all the steps, you're gonna end up with a beautiful eye. Okay, I can't wait to see how you make your art. Bye. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.